Welcome back to math we know. x cubed then plus y cubed then plus 3 times xy is equal to 1. We have to solve the value of x then plus y. It is not very easy to solve it. Which way should we use? For dealing this question, you have to just remember this formula. Says a cubed then plus b cubed and then plus c cubed minus 3abc. It is equal to a then plus b and then plus c and then times a squared then plus b squared then plus c squared minus ab minus bc minus ac. It's beautiful, isn't it? How should we use it definitely or wonderfully? Pay attention to this equation x cubed then plus y cubed then plus 3 times xy is equal to 1. I have to write it down here. And then you can compare them. Okay, I will remove this one from right hand side and move it to the left hand side. And I will write it here. Minus 1 plus 3 times xy equal to 0. Okay, you see. What's the difference between these two formulas? Of course, left hand side. A cube, x cube, positive b cube, positive y cube, positive c cube, negative 1, minus 3abc plus 3xy. So you can see, in this question, what is a, what is b, and which is c? You'll find out. A is x, B is y, and C is negative 1. So now this question, A is x, and B is y. C is just negative 1. This formula, which was written in green, the left hand side, it is factored. The factor is just this. So, the left hand side, it can be written as a plus b plus c is x then plus y. c is negative 1. And then times a, a squared is x squared and then b squared is y squared. This is 1. And then minus x1, xy, and then plus y. And then this is plus x. It is 0. So I can say this x plus y minus 1 is 0, or this, it can be 0. The first case is x plus y and then minus 1, it is 0. In this case, x then plus y, it is just, remove the negative 0 from the left hand side and move it to the right hand side, it's just 1. Or you plus 1 on the both hand sides. It's also okay. The second case is a little complicated. x squared then plus y squared and plus... Okay, I will write negative xy first because there are some secrets. And then plus x and then plus y. I write this plus 1 at last. This is equal to 0. I will say multiply by 2 on the both sides. So now I would like to multiply by 2 on the both sides because it is very good, it is very helpful for us to solve this equation. If I multiply by 2 on the both sides, then what's on the left hand side? It is 2 times x squared plus 2 times y squared then minus 2 times xy plus 2x plus 2y and then plus 2. Zero. Don't worry, it just looks horrible. But it is very easy. What should we do? How to do the left hand side? Because here, there are two times of x squared, also two times of y squared, also two times of x and two times y. And these two I can regard it as 1 plus y. Now, 
I would like to take out an x squared from these two x squared. I also take out a y squared from these two y squared. And then I would like to take this minus 2xy out. And you can see what will appear. Take out an x squared and also a y squared and minus 2 times xy. You just use the second binomial formula, then it can be solved. So here, there just there there is just one x squared left, one y squared left, and there's no minus two x y. So one x squared, one y squared, and two x and two y and one plus one left. And then I would like to take out the other x squared and there's two x, and I would like to take. Out a y won't appear, won't appear, won't appear. What's left? A y squared and two y and y. So the left hand side, we can regard this, these three terms, as a group. This as a group. This as a group. Use the second binomial formula. It is just x the minus y all squared. This use the first binomial formula. It is x then plus y all squared. This also the first binomial formula. It is y then plus one all squared zero. Because these three terms are all non-negative, but the sum of them is zero. So. I can get x minus 1 is 0, x plus 1 is 0, and y plus 1 is also 0. If I get this, then I can solve the value of x and y, also x plus y. In this case, I will write it here. x minus y is 0, so x is equal to y. But x plus 1 is 0, and y plus 1 is also 0. So they have the same value, and they both equal to negative 1. So in this case, x then plus 1, the value of x then plus 1 is negative 2. Do you get it? So you see, two cases, two answers. The first, 1. The second answer, negative 2. Do you get it? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe me, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Subscribe my channel for more videos.